Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's daily astrology reading for December 31st, 2023 is Happy New Year's Eve. We have a void of course moon at 12, 18 a.m. EST and at 6 53 a.m. EST, that moody, waning gibbous moon enters into practical Virgo. There will be a lot of little things coming out of the woodwork. Things are changing. Leave flex room in your schedule. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for December 31st. 2023 is Uruz. Uruz, the letter U. Its meaning, aurochs, which are wild bison, represent strength. Associations, strength, vitality, good health, power, and healing. Today's context is Today, your focus is on healing, so you can return to your strong, vital self. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for December 31st, 2023 is Deception. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. This card is a loving nudge for you to be aware of deception within your relationship. This could involve something mild, such as run-of-the-mill politeness, where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Please say this invocation, either silently or aloud, Romance angels, I ask that you give me clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness. Then notice and trust the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for December 31st, 2023 is The Source of Magic. The Source of Magic. Manifestation. Make yourself a wand today. Magic is not just for fairies. You are also a source of magic. Every time you inhale and exhale, you breathe in the energy of source. Whether you call it God, spirit, divinity, father, mother, it is the source of all that is. It resides in everything in our universe and within our own body. As human beings on earth, you are endowed with the gift of manifestation. Through your thoughts, visualizations, feelings, and words, everything in your world you have ever thought into existence. Remember that what you focus on is what grows into manifestation. So be careful where you place your attention. Like the fairies, bring as much joy and love into your life and heart as you can. Open yourself to receive. Think positive thoughts. Transmute negative feelings and thoughts into peaceful ones. If a negative picture appears in your mind, replace that with a picture of a positive input. Soon, we'll see how things begin to shift as your life for in the highest good. When something is for your highest good, then it is also for the highest good of others. No harm will come to others through your request. If it is not 
for your highest good, then it will not happen and something better will replace it. You are the source of magic. So make yourself a wand today. The chant, I replenish my body with the breath of spirit. I exhale in order that I may inhale again. My thoughts and words are clear and divinely inspired. I am open to receiving my good. I manifest all that is divinely possible for me. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for December 31st, 2023 is Activated Earth. Activated Earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Ley lines are the invisible pathways on land along which energy travels. They could be sensed when in tune with our more subtle senses. Also known as spirit paths, they have been compared to the meridian system of the body used in Chinese medicine. And they link sacred sites, stone circles, burial mounds, and places of worship worldwide. In the Australian Aboriginal culture, song lines were the paths traveled by the creator beings as they made the land and sea during the dreaming. These paths were recorded in traditional songs and dances of the people, allowing them to access information about the land's history and to travel safely across great distances. Many people believe that when we visit such sacred points on the earth, something is activated within us. Some also believe that by connecting with the land with devotion at these sacred places, something is activated within the planet too. Are you being called to travel to a sacred place that your soul remembers? Or tend to the land that you live on? To honor and acknowledge the known and unknown keepers or nature spirits of the land? As you connect with the earth and honor its keepers, the land opens up more fully to hold you. The fruits provide more nourishment and the guardians watch over you. The star seed activation. Place your hand on your heart portal and whisper the following. I honor and thank the keepers of the earth beneath me, known and unknown. Thank you for your nourishment and tender holding. Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for December 31st, 2023 is Wings of Light. Wings of Light, becoming something new. The priestess in this card moves to the right, the future, with great speed and purpose. Wings of light and vibrating waves of rainbow energy propel her forward. Get ready, for this card heralds magnificent and colorful changes are coming your way. A powerful time of personal transition. Perhaps even total transfiguration is upon you. Your spirit is working from within to bring radical shifts in your attitude and energy. Old feelings of being stuck will drop away with every step you take. This shift can be so significant that it could redefine you and reveal the essential nature of your soul. Even your appearance may change on a practical level. Something you're working on might be just about to take off, or this may mark an accelerated external move, a sudden change of personal residence, or even an unexpected job relocation. These cards can indicate some Major changes coming your way. Be open 
to these and other adventures. Your affirmation, I open up to the light and inner power of my true eternal flame. I am willing to change, to make new choices, and to move in new directions. Your daily energy reading for December 31st, 2023. So one last time for the year of 2023. I hope you guys are having whatever New Year's celebrations make you feel happiest. Just please stay safe and make use of those resources around you if you are opting for celebrating with any form of intoxication. But have fun and stay safe. The astrology is telling you to leave yourself more time than you think you need. Uruz says healing should be the primary focus of the day. The romance oracle warns that someone isn't being honest here. The fairies remind you that you are a powerful transmitter. The starseed oracle reminds you that you are connected to the grid of the earth. The priestess of light oracle reminds you that you are in the middle of a powerful shift in your life. I found that last part quite funny on Spirit's part, given that it's New Year's Eve. So, you are a wand. You are a powerful transmitter. Your crown chakra is quite open. If you're keeping yourself in alignment, and if you're keeping yourself rooted to that grid of the earth, that is how you're powering your wand from the root to the crown. That's why it pays to stay in alignment because someone here isn't being honest. Now that could be you. Maybe you're not being honest with others. Maybe somebody's not being honest with you. Say me, maybe it's something minor, maybe it's something major, but it could be some place where you need healing and you need to leave yourself more time, partially just because you're in the middle of a shift right now. The world is in the middle of a shift right now, not just because it's New Year's Eve in some parts of the world, because we're in a great big healing shift so we can ascend globally all together. Progress has been made in this ascension process. You are going to be noticing more things, being more sensitive to energy, being able to pick up on things when someone is being deceptive and when that is a case where you need healing and when it is a case that you need boundaries. Because maybe you're healed just fine on this topic and it's them that needs the lessons and your boundaries are their lessons. Because as much as Ascension is a one, you know, is an individual project, it is also a group project. We need as many people to ascend as possible. So leave yourself more time because you never know what spirit wants you to go look up or what path it wants you to take you down or what healing it wants you to activate in yourself or others. But congratulations. Congratulations. You have made progress.